<laughs> hello guys welcome to my channel please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and don't forget to click on your notification bell okay please guys so that once i post video you will get a lot okay so today we're drafting our skirt block so right now i have my tools with me i have um, two rulers one is long and the other one is short so here is my long ruler okay so the other one is my short one i have my scissors i have my pen i have my hip curve ruler okay then this is my measurement that i'll be using so that is my tape rule so the length i'm using the the measurement today i'm using length 25 round waist 28 round hip 35 okay guys let's start so guys all we're doing right now is to come down by one inch from the tip of the paper okay i'll use my pen and mark one inch all through okay so the next thing i'll do right now is to use my long ruler and rule it okay that line will stand as our waistline okay so from that end guys i'll come in by three inches i'm doing so because i want that place to be where i will insert our vent okay so i'll just mark three inches then i'll measure the length of my skirt to, no, to enable me to know where my three inches will stop okay so right now i'll be using 25 as my length okay so i've marked that my 25 so the next thing that I'll be doing right now is to use the long ruler to rule it, okay? So here it comes. I've done that, okay? Okay, guys, here is my length. I remember I came down by one inch, okay? So the next thing I'll be doing is to divide my hip measurement into two, okay? That's the biggest part of my measurement. My hip is 35, 35 divided by 2 is 17.5. I'll add 0 0.25 is allowance, okay? It will give me 17.75. I'll now divide my 17.75 into two again, which gave me 8.8, .8, okay? So right now, I'm going to back 8.8 .8 on that waistline, okay? Then I'm going to mark another 8.8 .8 again, okay? So I've marked it, okay? So the next thing that I'll be doing right now, you know that first 8.8 .8 that I got, I have to take um, a ruler and roll it down, okay? To separate the two 8.8 i've done that i've separated them so the next thing that i'll be doing right now is to measure right for that other 8.8 .8 so that i can make it equal which i've done okay so i'll have to cross it over down there perfect i've done that so that place is my back and the other side is my front so right now we'll be dividing our waist waist 28 divided by 4 is 7 plus 1 that one is for our dart okay okay so right now I'll mark 8 there i've marked my 8 i also mark 8 from that end for my cff okay i've marked my 8 again okay so the next thing that i'll be doing now is to get my hip line my hip i'm using nine inches okay you can also measure your customers or your clients waist to hip okay if you're not sure of what you use but nine inches is okay so right now I'm marking nine inches so i will still mark nine inches at the front i've done that so the next thing i'll do right now is to draw my horizontal line to connect the hip of front and back together okay so that is it so let me draw my back on i've done that okay so the next thing that i'll do right now is to 
to mark my waist measurement down to my hip with my hip curve ruler okay so i've done that so i also mark for my front too Oh, perfect. So that's our waist measurement connected to our hip line, okay? So that's it. So right there, I'll be going up by 0 0.5, okay? This 0 0.5 will help us so that our skates will not fold at the front. So right there, I'm going to come down by one inch at that point okay so the next thing i'll do right now is to use my ruler and join it together from the 0 0.5 to that one inch okay so i'm going to connect it perfectly so that it will still align with the waist measurement so right now see what i'm doing i'm using my ruler to connect from that one inch to the 0 0.5 okay is to eliminate folds at the front so that's what i'm going to do again i'll connect my own 0 0.5 of the back and right there at that back i'm not going to come in by any inch so i'll just connect it back to my waistline okay that is it okay so it's simple okay so 0 0.5 so that's it so the next thing we'll be doing is to locate our dart. You can also use your um, your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two. So my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two, I got eight. Divided by two is four. So I'm coming in by four, which I'm about marking. I've marked it. So from my hip line, I'll go up by two inches. That's where my dart will stop. Okay. So I'm marking another four inches there so that I can have a straight line, okay? So the next thing I'll do right now is to connect it to that two inches. Yes, that you know, I came up by two inches, so I stopped at that two inches, okay? So at my that line, on both sides, I'm going to take 0 0.5. That is a normal way of drafting out that. So left is 0 0.5, right, I'll take it. 0 0.5 so the next thing i'll do right now is to connect each 0 0.5 to the that line okay i've done that so i'm connecting the next one perfect so i'll do same with the front i'll still come in by four inches okay I'll go up by two inches again, just like I did at the back. Do the same for the front too. Okay. Perfect. So I'll still draw a straight line from the four inches. Okay. Good. So in between that line, I'll still take 0 0.5. At both sides. Okay. So I still have to connect it back to the that line. So that is our dot. Okay. Perfect. So guys, we are going to shape our skirt. Okay. So what we'll do right now is from our hip measurement to minus two just to from it then share it in between the two sides of our skirt one inch on that side and one inch on the other end okay this to enable us have a fitting skirt by giving it a bomb illusion just to make the bomb to show perfectly okay so taking one inch from that end wouldn't be bad so you connect it back to your hip line on both sides okay so that is it So right now, that is what I'm doing. I'm going to take that one inch that I did not tear from the hip line. 
and connect my skirt back to my hip line okay you see it by the time you finish making the skirt the bump will really show no matter how little it is okay just to give it fitting okay so that is it okay so we'll be going to the um, our front uh, um illustration so what we'll do right now is to that two inches we have to take from the hip we we'll just add it on one side okay and that side is where we're going to add it okay so right now we'll mark that two inches there okay so the next thing we'll do is to still connect it to the hip line We don't need to do it at both sides because this end is our CFF and then the other end is our CFF. So we're not going to do it on both sides. We did at the side, okay? So that is it. We've done that. So the next thing we'll right now be doing is to create our vent, okay? You know, it depends on what your client wants, okay? So right now we're taking it from the other, from the inside of our line, okay? That line here, okay? Not the our initial line. Okay, because we're eliminating the other one, okay? So I'm taking two inches. So it depends on what you really want, okay? If you want it to be three inches, you can do that too, okay? So right now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm doing six inches for my vent, okay? So if your client wants it more than six inches, you can also do more than that for them, okay? So right now, it's six inches that I'm using. So I've marked it, okay? So what I'll do is to connect it following our new line. Guys, please, we have to do it. As you see where I place my tape before taking my two inches, that is where you do so, okay? Because the other line will be taking it off entirely. So that is it. I've taken it. So the next time, I'll have to take it down to, to the hem. So that's our vent. So that's it so i have to cross it at the hemline perfect okay so that is it. so simple guys okay you can drop your questions if you don't understand please guys i have to explain this this is our hem so right there i came up by 0 0.5 at those side and i came down by one inch okay i collected my 0 0.5 to that one inch then I, I my dart I came in by four inches okay for my dart and I opened it up with 0 0.5 on both sides and I came up by two inches from the hip line okay so I did the same for the front too so that's it guys please join our Facebook community so with Dona Bray okay drop your questions to on what you don't understand you can add the allowance on this but before that I would like to slash this to show you what it will look like when you slash yours, okay? So, thanks for listening today. So, here comes my work, okay? I've taken it off from the paper. So, this is it. And this is what yours should, be, should also look like, okay, guys? Thanks for following me to this end, okay? Please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And I'll be grateful if you do so.